What's happening, fellow builders? It's priming day. We're still working on the left elevator. We're picking up from where we left off. We got a little bit more prep work to do. I got some scuffing to do to these guys here. Air extraction going on, you know, AKZO primers, kind of deadly stuff. But, coming over here. This stuff here, just about ready for primer. Still needs some scuffing, and uh, we gotta get some dimpling done. As we last left off with our counterbalance setup, here's our counterbalance. It's been machine countersunk. It's gonna fit these screws nice. One error I wanna bring up that I uh, lapsed on during uh, last video. Those two holes that I drilled there, I drilled them to a number 10. They should be a number 12. My bad. Watch out for that, guys. So, we're pushing forward. We're done with this guy. We're gonna pull our little jig out here for uh, dimpling the very root of our counterbalance ribs there. Let's get to work. Let's get to dimpling. E704, number 40s for A, D, 426 rivets. Who's on into the 703? Dimple die for this now. Bit of a pain in the ass to get the nail in there. So I got the female die on the inside. There's the male die. That right there. You're not trying to break the nail, but sometimes it does happen. Just like that. We got a good dimple out of it.
first thing I gotta do is uh, wipe all this stuff down. This is just uh, a shop rag with acetone on it. So last time we did this, uh, we used our mixing cup, right? Nice clean mixing cup. And I got my Rockler mixing mates here. That's the catalyst. It doesn't need much, but the precipitate I haven't moved around in a while. And really glad I got these things. Got to get all that stuff up from the bottom. Okay, we're going to go up to our uh, number two line because I think that should be more than enough to take care of all these parts. First thing I'm going to do is pour the uh, catalyst in because it's a little easier to see. And we're mixing a one to one ratio. Got that nice and mixed. Now, I made a mistake on my last video. There is a set off period for the AKZO primer. You have to let this hang out for 30 minutes now that it's mixed. So you can see I'm right up to the two mark. I put the clear catalyst in first and then the uh, primary in after. Now I'm going to let this hang out and uh, we'll come back and we'll shoot these parts. Sorry about my hand there guys. Okay, awesome. Skin turned out really good, so uh, I got it moved over there. I'm gonna flip all these little parts over, take care of them, and that's basically it. We're done.